that we learned what the trig ratios are, which is sine, cosine, and tangent, let's talk about what they actually are representing. What's their value? So let's say that we have these two right triangles. Now, can we say that these two right triangles are similar? Now remember that similarity means that the sides are proportional and their uh, corresponding angles are congruent. We can see by finding, you know, using your triangle sum theorem, we can see that our missing angle here is going to be 37 degrees and our missing angle here is 53 degrees, right? So we can see that these angles, are, these triangles are um, similar by angle-angle similarity, but also we can look at the side lengths. So if we were to um, match up those corresponding sides to set up our ratios, we would have 9 is to 3, as 12 is to 4, as 15 is to 5. And if we reduce each one of these ratios, we would see that the common ratio, which is the scale factor, is 3 to 1. So we can say that these ang uh, triangles are similar to each other. Now, what does that mean with in terms of sine, cosine, and tangent? Well, remember that sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Tangent, or I'm sorry, let's do in order. So katoa, right? So um, let me do the cosine there next. So so is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. Okay. So let's say. Um, that we first are going to look at, and let's label these vertices as A, B, and C here, and let's do D, E, and F. Okay, so we're going to say that let's first looking at the sine of B. Okay, the sine of B would be the opposite, so here's angle B, right? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so that would be 9 over 15. And if I simplify that that ratio and that fraction, I would end up with 3 to 5, or 3 fifths. Now, if I look at the same angle, which is 37, it's corresponding congruent angle. So we're going to look at now the sine of E. Let's see what the sine of E is. If we do opposite, which is 3, over hypotenuse, which is 5, you can see that the ratios are the same. That's why we're able to use these trig ratios for any right triangle, because we know that the ratios will be the same in that specific right triangle with respect to the angle measure. So let's say we look at, let's do a different color here. Now let's look at the cosine of B. So the cosine of B would be the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So we would have 12 over 15. And if we reduce that fraction, we'd end up with 4 over 5. And if we did the cosine of E, again, it's going to be adjacent, which is 4 over hypotenuse of 5. You could see that those ratios are the same. So now, if we were to pop up our um, online cal our graphing calculator, right? If I just type in an angle measure, so let's say we're going to do the tangent. Let's turn this on. It's not working that way. Okay, so let's say we do the tangent of, I don't know, let's say 62 degrees. Oop. Tangent of 62, right? That's going to give me some value. This is the value of the opposite side and the adjacent side with respect to a 62 degree angle. So it doesn't matter the actual the actual side lengths of that tri that right triangle that has an angle of 62. We're really just using the ratios. We're using the idea of similarity. So when we use our trig ratios, we're really focusing on the concept that all right triangles, if their corresponding angles are congruent, then their ratios between the side lengths will be the same. Okay?